To Kill a Mockingbird, a title that echoes in the halls of literature, a story etched in our hearts. Harper Lee gave us Scout Gem and Atticus Finch, beacons of innocence, curiosity, and unwavering morality. This wasn't just a story, it was a mirror reflecting America's soul, its struggles with race and justice. Mockingbird became a phenomenon. It spurred conversations, challenged perspectives, and most importantly, it made us feel. It reminded us of the power of empathy, the courage to stand against injustice. Atticus Finch, the lawyer with an unyielding moral compass, became an American hero. He was the father we all wished we had, the embodiment of integrity in a world riddled with prejudice. His words resonated deeply. You never really understand a person until you consider things from his point of view, until you climb into his skin and walk around in it. This quote, etched in our collective memory, encapsulated the novel's message of empathy and understanding. Mockingbird wasn't just a book, it was an experience. It found its way onto school curriculums, sparking dialogues about race and prejudice in classrooms across the nation. It transcended age, resonating with readers young and old. It sparked crucial conversations, forcing us to confront uncomfortable truths about our society. Then came Go Set a Watchman, Decades after Mockingbird first graced our bookshelves, a literary earthquake shook the world. Harper Lee, the intensely private author, was releasing a second novel. Anticipation crackled in the air. Fans, hungry for more of Lee's poignant prose, waited with bated breath. This wasn't just a new book. It was a glimpse into the mind of a literary icon after years of silence. But Watchmen wasn't what readers expected. The story, a sequel of sorts, painted a different picture of Atticus Finch. Gone was the unwavering champion of justice. In his place stood a man grappling with the prejudices of his time, a man whose views on race seemed to contradict everything we held dear about him. Controversy erupted. How could Atticus, the moral compass of Mockingbird, hold such views? Was this a betrayal of the beloved character? The literary world was divided. Some argued that this was a realistic portrayal of a man grappling with his beliefs in a changing world. Others felt betrayed, their image of a hero shattered. The debate raged on, fueled by the mystery surrounding the book's publication. Questions arose about Harper Lee's health and whether she had truly authorized the release of Watchmen. Ethical concerns swirled, adding another layer of complexity to the already heated conversation. In Watchmen, we meet an older, more world-weary Atticus. He is a man wrestling with the changing times, his views on race clashing with the ideals he once embodied. This portrayal, a far cry from the Atticus of Mockingbird, sparked a firestorm of debate. Had our hero fallen from grace? Or had we, as readers, placed him on an unattainable pedestal? The Atticus of Watchmen forces us to confront uncomfortable truths about our heroes. He reminds us that even the most righteous among us are products of their time, shaped by societal norms and personal experiences. This more nuanced portrayal challenged our understanding of morality. Is it black and white, or does it exist in shades of gray? This stark contrast in Atticus's character challenged readers to reconcile their perceptions. It forced us to ask ourselves, can we separate an author's creation from their own personal beliefs? Can a character, once held as a symbol of morality, evolve in a way that challenges our own values? The controversy surrounding Go Set, a watchman, extends beyond Atticus Finch. It compels us to examine the very nature of justice and morality. Lee's work, in both its iterations, serves as a stark reminder that these concepts are not static. They are fluid, evolving alongside societal shifts and personal growth. Mockingbird presented a clear vision of right and wrong, with Atticus standing as the unwavering champion of justice. Watchmen, however, muddies the waters, challenging us to confront the complexities of morality in a world where lines are blurred, and even our heroes are flawed. This shift in perspective forces us to confront our own biases, our own understanding of justice and how it manifests in a world grappling with change. The conversation ignited by Watchmen extends far beyond the pages of a book. It serves as a microcosm of the larger societal debate on race, justice, and the legacy of prejudice. It reminds us that the journey towards a more equitable society is ongoing, filled with complexities and uncomfortable truths. 
Go Set a Watchman, despite the controversy, added a new layer to Harper Lee's legacy. It sparked a conversation, albeit uncomfortable at times, about race, justice, and the evolution of our heroes. It reminded us that literature, at its core, is meant to provoke, to challenge, to make us think critically about the world around us. The juxtaposition of Mockingbird and Watchmen serves as a powerful reminder that our understanding of morality and justice is constantly evolving. It compels us to engage in dialogue, to challenge our own perceptions and confront uncomfortable truths. This, in itself, is a testament to the power of literature. The legacy of Harper Lee's work lies not just in the words she wrote, but in the conversations those words ignited. It's a conversation that continues to this day, reminding us that the journey towards a more just and equitable world is an ongoing process, one that demands introspection, empathy, and a willingness to challenge our own deeply held beliefs. So now, we ask you, are you holding on to beliefs that haunt you? Are you strapped with prejudices that keep you in bondage? We want to hear from you, so please share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below, and as always, we thank you for joining us for another discussion here at Philosophical Flicks. We look forward to seeing you in the next video, and until then, take care of yourselves and each other.